Anyways, sewage, we can now afford this thing. This is having trouble, right? No, it's not anymore. So much for the bond. <laughs> okay, then. Who knows? Is this thing full? This is full. But it's not really an issue. This has 17 tons of coal, basically. This is not getting all of their coal. Do I need another truck? Can I, like, add a truck? Yeah. What's a delivery truck do? Add a freight truck garage to increase the rate at which you can send resources from the trade depot to manufacturers and consumers in your city. Let's just add one for the heck of it. I don't know that we need it, but let's just do it. Air pollution generated low. Awesome. This one can also use another truck, I would assume. It's a dirty job. Delivers coal from the mine to coal power plants, trade depots, trade ports, or industry. So it goes from the mine to coal power plants. I should go directly from here to here. But I think it's going from here to the trade depot to the, to the power plant, which makes no sense. But whatever. Let's just add another truck because we can. And we are once again making money. 75000 Everything seems good. Um, how's our happiness doing? Some people are really unhappy. No money moving out soon. What's the likelihood to upgrade? I want to see that map. Building density... Yeah. Green is likely to upgrade. So these guys are likely to upgrade, apparently. Everybody's happiness is just going up. <laughs> Skyrocketing. These guys are not very likely to upgrade. What's the issue? Like, where's the shopping? They're a great place... <laughs> <laughs> There are great places to shop, and then your neighbor's wondering, where's the shopping in this town? I haven't found any. Dude, go talk to your neighbor. They're your neighbor. <laughs> I guess these guys are right outside the range for shopping. They're barely too far away. That's why these guys won't um, upgrade. They're not very happy, because the shopping is too far away. I think we're going to have to make this little section shopping. So let's go ahead and do that. Build some roads. High density. Yeah, that looks right. Following mostly the same pattern. I know my roads are kind of off pattern, but that's fine. We do need to have some differences in our roads. So now zoning. We'll zone this with commercial. Uh, we don't want it along the avenue. What do I want around the edges here? Do I want workers or commercial? Let's do workers. Let's do residential. And dezone that little piece. Okay. So that's good. That'll help people be happy up here. Oop, even they're upgrading. That's awesome. Where's the shopping in this town? It's coming! Let's watch it grow. From the ground. Literally. Look, it's just getting taller. It's not so squished anymore. <laughs> Going from squished to unsquished. As the construction workers do nothing but stand on it. Oop, and then poof! It's a full building. That's where the shopping is. Just, like, go right up there. Control... nope. <laughs> Click and drag is not going to work. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, we can build a university now. What did... Classrooms full. 88,000? I can afford that. But these things are big. They are definitely big. One thing I could do... <laughs> oh gosh. I can put the university right next to the gambling. <laughs> oh gosh. Should I? 
Should I do it? Because I want a university. I eventually want to start manufacturing electronics. So like you need five medium tech industry buildings. No idea what that means for a processor factory. You need an electronics HQ. You need consumer electronics division at the electronics HQ. So you have to manufacture processors. This thing needs medium tech industry. I'm pretty sure to get medium tech industry, you need universities. Um, what do these things do? Research advanced technologies at the various schools of higher learning. So you pick what schools you want at the university, and then from there you can, I guess, educate your people more. And I don't know if it affects the region or just your city. Increases the tech level of nearby industrial buildings. So do we want to put it in the industrial sector of town? That doesn't seem very smart. It might be what we do, but it doesn't seem very smart. Uh. <laughs> Where's the wind map? Is that the wind map? That is the wind map. Slightly diagonally up. Okay. So, do we want to put the university over here? That seems like a terrible place to put it. Um, I can't decide. Do we want to? Let's... Let's, uh... Let's put... Let's do it. Let's put it on this side. <laughs> and it makes the industrial buildings happy. Oh, it's gonna make everybody... Oh, yeah. It's making everybody happy. Oh yeah, okay. Start research project. So I don't know anything about universities except what I've already explained, like how you add things to it. Progress towards the next upgrade. 1,000 students taught today. Okay. Mayor's mansion is approved, awesome. So if I edit this thing, we need to sign. A uh, pedestrian path? Oh. Dorms. I guess dorms would be a good thing to have. These guys are going to get pretty stinked up, considering where they are. Especially with the coal power plant. Kind of in the wind area. The wind can change direction, by the way. Up to 45 degrees, I was told. So... It's going diagonally this way. It could go straight onto <laughs> the university. It's going to be a pretty stinky university if we don't watch out. Uh, School of Business, Engineering, Law, Medicine, and Science. Increases high-tech industrial profit. What's the engineering one do? Increases low and medium wealth industrial profit across the region. In the region, so this affects the whole region. Yeah, reduces the chance Sims will get sick. School of Medicine. Lowers rehabilitation time for incarcerated criminals in the whole region. So basically your jail cells won't spend as much time holding people. They'll get rehabilitated faster. Increases commercial profit across the region. So having a university in one city affects the whole region. That's actually very useful. This is good for our whole region and this whole Let's Play, really. That is amazing. I think it might be worth getting the dorm. Because of the simple fact that we do want as many students as we can get per day so we can unlock these things. Because this takes, like, what? Uh, educate more students in one day. Okay, that's not very specific. Well, let's just try to get as many students per day as we can. So, let's get a dorm. We have the stinkiest university ever. Trash having issues. Oh, yeah. Eventually your trash will, uh... build up. Do we want to start burning it? It might be worth doing. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I think it'd be worth doing. It does produce a lot of pollution, but considering that the whole wind is going that way, I think it'll be fine. So let's, uh... <laughs> I might have just made a pretty big mistake. We'll have to find out. So they're almost maxed out, but it is decreasing, so that's good. Garbage being incinerated, 0.5 tons, 0.6 tons, it's increasing. Somebody wanted my attention. Schools don't have enough teachers and staff to operate. Zone residential or connect mass transit to neighboring cities. I guess we do need bus stops over here now, don't we? Oh man, things are going bad. Having lots of issues. We can build the mayor's mansion. I don't have enough money. I guess we don't need a bus stop. It's already covering it right here. So we don't need a school bus stop over there. We do want a bus stop over for these guys. Make them happier, make them expand. Yeah, I, I fixed that. I put an incinerator. Running low on water, huh? Oh man, we have quite a deficit. 44,000 for this. Or I can build another water tower. Hmm. I'll put the water tower over there. And we're still in a deficit. This thing is so much cheaper than any of the other options, which consists of all of one. So what do we have here? That's sewage treatment plant. Okay. Did I bulldoze a clinic? I think I bulldozed a clinic here, didn't I? Or we're running low on power? That's not a good thing. I guess we'll place more water so we're not so much in a deficit. It's helping. We are positive, but not by much. I guess we'll place another one. Uh, here? <laughs> sure. Why not? There we go. Water's fixed. Worker shortage. These guys are complaining about power? Yeah, I do have my hands full with requests, actually. Including false ones. A solar farm. Great work. Provide the whole region with pollution-free power. The whole entire region? Or only connected cities? Because not, 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 not all the cities in this region are connected. It's in groups of four. So... Ask me later, because I don't know what I want to do for the great work yet. In fact, we can explore the options, and then I want to go ahead and end this. Assuming the city is good to go, as it is right now. I think it is. Uh, they have a worker shortage. Sewage? Really? Back to pipes. Hold on. We're not ending this yet. We gotta fix stuff. Yeah... Can I afford another one? I can't. Okay, let's take out a bond. Nah. We'll take out 50k for this bond. Build another one of these. We'll build it... over here. Seems like a good spot. And that'll help our sewage problem significantly. Oh yeah, way more than we need. And it also means that half the sewage will be going to it. Why do you just say full sewage plan? Who knows? That'll, that'll significantly help. Um, oh, this thing is full. Escalator. Because I think it's fixed. My sewage thing should be fixed. Well, actually, this isn't going to fix itself. I will have to add a thingy, so 
Man, I can barely afford that. Okay. Well, <laughs> there we go. Saber treatment is definitely fixed now. Might just be delaying the problem if this isn't going to cover it, but it should cover it. Should cover a lot of the sewage, I would think. If I go to sewage, yeah, there's lots traveling from this road and this road going to this plant, and then lots traveling from this road and this road going to this plant. And the ones that come from this road appear to go down, which is fine. Okay, so that should be good to go. Uh, zoning issues, worker shortage, yeah. I know. Let's put some more parks. <laughs> we'll use uh, nature ones and make a medium wealth. Make people happy, make more residential people here. And that should go well. Oh, first, really tall buildings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're becoming a city. Oh, power issues. Currently generating 75. How much can it generate? 75. <laughs> well, it's maxed out. Oh, boy. Um... This is full of coal. Why is this not full of coal? So is this. This is full of coal. Who knows? I don't know how it's working. If any of you know how that's working, let me know. <laughs> um, I guess we could just add another one. I don't really have much other choice. Actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what we have to do. Never mind. We forgot to put a sign. Oh my gosh. Apparently I can't put the sign on the same side of the street. That's interesting. Well then. <laughs> 8.6 tons. Literally double. It's literally just a double stack. Less pollution. So it burns more coal, but less pollution. This needs a school of engineering. Eh, we don't care about pollution. <laughs> or do we? So let's just add another stack here. Uh, put it there. And that should fix the power problem. Yeah. Okay. So we have no problems right now. We should be good to go. Let's go check out the Great Works options, and then I want to end this recording session. So let's go to the regional view. Right here we have Great Works. So... Yeah, I know. Quit popping up at me. Okay. So, uh, here's our region. We have quite a large region, but the cities that are connected here are one, two, three, four. So these four cities will share one great works. Uh, this city, this city, this city, and that city will share that great works. And so in total, we have four great works in this, in this region, because I picked the largest kind of region you can have. And... So for great works for our, uh, for our great works options, we have solar farm, but we need a school of science with on the university, and you have to complete a research project at the university. We also need a ton of resources, and we will get tons of power from it for the whole region. So that is one option actually. That is a really good option simply because then we don't have to have all the giant power stuff sitting in each city. Uh, each city, can, you can also have a, one city dedicated to power, so you don't have to use a great works for that. You can have one city, like I said, dedicated to power for the cities next to it. So like if I made this city uh, for power only, this city, this city, and the current city, Pallet Town, <laughs> not much of a town, uh, would all get power from Huckleberry Island, and I could use something else in this great works. Another option is the International Airport. Um, basically just provides more tourists, is that all it is? 
Yeah, tourists and ships freight on cargo planes. That might be worth doing, because I do have lots of industry here, which I might get rid of in the end, I don't know. Space Center does what? Resulting in more high-tech industry, and it draws tourists to the surrounding cities using satellites. Does it, like... <laughs> does this end up pulse waves, brain waves? It, it uh, brainwashes them into coming to your city? Is that what it does? It doesn't make any sense otherwise. Our college is a place for people to live, but then they'll commute to the other cities, so you don't have to have as much residential. I don't think I'll do that, because that's just, like, weird. I want residential. Most of my income is from residential. And also, most of your population, all your population, actually, is from residential. So, I don't think I want to do an arcology. It'll probably be one of the other three. Because we don't want tourists for gambling. We do want the airport for all of, all of our industry that we have in this city. And possibly the other cities, depending on how we set them up. And we might want solar a solar farm so we can produce a ton of power. I'm sure there's a limit to how much power it produces. I don't really know what that would be. It might be so ridiculously high that we never have to worry about power again. I don't know. Also, I think you get power for free with this. If you have like a dedicated power city and you want to get power for your city from the power city, you have to, you have to buy the power. I think you get it for free if it's a great work site. Um, solar farm. But those are the great works options. I don't know what I will do. And I think we're just going to continue working on the pallet town some more. I really don't know what I want to do for this. We will need a lot more money. Click. I'm trying to... Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, 500,000, a million, a million, a million. He actually gave me the option of the cheapest one. So, yeah. I don't know what we'll do. But I hope you all enjoyed this series of videos from this recording session, and I will see you all in the next session, or videos. <laughs> Video. Uh, bye guys.